What's up, 12s? It's your boy, Brandon Michael here from the Hotcast Podcast. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, obviously, I've had a lot of uh, subscribers come in. I think it's about 100 since last week. So thank you guys for joining the team. Thank you guys for joining the family. Thank you guys for supporting the Hawks. I really do appreciate you guys. And thank you for all the views and support and likes, blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I just want to start off with that. Um, and second of all, guys, obviously I'm still in my closet. For anyone's new, I'm not a guy that films out of my closet. I normally do it in a, you know, we've been filming in a studio for a while. But the COVID-19 outbreak did kind of halt all of that. So obviously I'm stuck in my closet. Second thing, I, no, third thing I want to address. Uh, somebody called me out for having a dolphin jersey in the back. I did move it so you guys wouldn't get pissed off anymore. And there's the reason why. Yes, I do collect jersey, guys. Uh, different signed jerseys, like right here. I do have Keenan Allen signed jersey do i like the chargers no i do not like the chargers but do i do enjoy uh good players yes i do enjoy football i do like to collect different kinds of jerseys and that was the reason why i'm not a dolphins fan do not worry i just do have a various amount of signed jerseys and stuff back here so i moved it so you guys wouldn't get pissed off anymore but uh enough with all that we're already one minute in i haven't even started the topic so let's just go ahead and dive right in guys the jadevian clowny situation what is going on on right and i feel like i'm back at square one where i was about a month ago where i'm sitting in my room and being like are we getting jademian Clowney? is he coming to seattle is he leaving seattle is Clowney even talking to us uh as reporters as analysts as fans as blah 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 as players to the seahawks maybe they know a little bit more than us they probably do uh we are sitting here in a cloud of darkness with nothing we don't have any vision on what's going on on the outside we don't have any vision on what's going on on the inside we're just stuck here we're just hoping and praying that we get out of this and now after the draft is over we're starting to pick up again we're starting to pick up the rumors is Clowney coming back seattle put in their final offer which was like 15 to 16 million uh Clowney, is he gonna sign with us this and that there's so many rumors going on i just want to sit here and just kind of you know give you guys all my thoughts because that's always a way uh, I like to express my feelings is just to turn on the camera and just kind of say what I have to say. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, yeah, so 15 to 16 million is the contract that apparently we are giving to Jadevi and Clowney. The more and more I think about it, I think Clowney's coming back. If you would have asked me about a month ago, I would have said he's long gone. And one of the biggest reasons was I thought Jadevi and Clowney wanted too much money. I thought a team like Cleveland or Tennessee was going to be able to outbid us. Something that I thought J uh, Pete Carroll and John Snyder were nothing. They didn't want any part of that. They don't want a bidding war. And they don't want to sit here and be like, we offer you 16 million. The Cleveland's like, we'll offer you 17 and we're like well bro like we ain't we don't want to sit here on the phone and keep like bidding with you if you want to play in seattle jd play in seattle if you don't we'll kick the dirt and you know get out then you know that's just kind of how it works it's a business and we understand a business we understand jd and i'm 100 percent okay if jadevian Clowney goes to a different team because if he goes to cleveland because cleveland's offering 18 million dollars and we're offering him 16 million right that's even kind of a tough sell for me. They offer him $19 million, let's say, right? We're just we're throwing out numbers. I'm not even looking at the cap situation, right? They offer him $3 million more. I'm going to look at Jadavion Clown and be like, look, bro, get your money, take care of your family. I'm not mad at it, right? Now, if we're looking at a situation where Cleveland's offering him the same amount of money as us, and then he wants to go to Cleveland, or let's say Cleveland's offering $1 million more, like 17, he's offering, he's getting 17 from Cleveland and 16 from Seattle, and he picks Cleveland over $1 million, I will be furious. Because think about it, guys. He says he wants to play in Seattle. He says he wants to play with a contender. But then he goes to a franchise that, you know, has been dominating that, dominated, not dominant, dominated in that division for years and years to come a franchise that just can't seem to win even though how much i mean even with loads of talent odell bickham jarvis landry baker mayfield miles garrett blah 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 has all this talent and they still cannot win and you want to play in cleveland like who wants to play in cleveland you're playing in the emerald city seattle like who want to want to play in seattle right i mean that's just my opinion obviously i'm biased because i'm a seahawks fan but i'm just saying like Plus, we're on the verge of winning, right? Like, we go out there, we go 11-5, and five, and we lose three of our running backs. We lose Chris Carson, we lose Rashad Penny, we lose CJ Prosize. We still go 11-5, and five, make it to the NFC Divisional round, barely lose to Aaron Rodgers and uh, the Green Bay Packers in Lambeau Field. And we're just suffering injuries left and right, left and right. And you still don't think, and you still think that $1 million's worth going to Cleveland. That's when I'll be a little pissed. And that's how I was a month ago, where I was sitting there and kind of thinking, well, 
if Clowney can come back, this is a great situation because we'll have enough cap for him, this and that. He wants to come back to Seattle. No other team is, even if a team offers a couple million dollars more, uh, he's going to want to come back to Seattle because that's where he wants to play. Guys, think about it for a second. If Jadevian Clowney really want to play in Seattle that bad, I feel like he would have taken a deal by now. There's obviously something halting the situation, and there's one or two things in my opinion. Either one, a team is offering way more money uh, than Jadevian Clowney, um, way more money than us, which is kind of, you know, putting Clowney in a situation where it's like, I do want to play in Seattle, but at the same time, this is a team that's going to offer me a lot more money, even if it's a one-year deal. I mean, that's what he wants. He wants a one-year deal. He wants a prove-it deal so he can come in here, get his money, play well in that team so he could go ahead and raise his market value. That's exactly what Jadevian Clowney wants. He doesn't want a long-term deal anymore because he knows he's not going to get that 22 to $23 million that he was kind of aiming for at the beginning of the uh, uh, offseason. So he's looking there and he's been like, I'm not going to get my market value. I could get a lot more money with Cleveland, though, right? That's one probably one thing he's thinking, or Tennessee, whoever it is. That's one thing. Or he really doesn't want to come back to Seattle, guys. Maybe the relationship is ruined. And think about it. John and Pete are super stingy, and they have a reputation of ruining relationships when it's coming out. Richard Sherman, Earl Thomas, Michael Bennett was kind of a messy situation when he left. Uh, Marshawn Lynch was kind of a messy situation when he left. Not a messy, we let him go off his own terms, but... A lot of the situations, I do. What, I know what you're saying, Brandon. It's because the Super Bowl after Super Bowl Forty Nine, everybody no, nobody want to play with Pete. Yeah, but if you look at a lot of situations like Richard Sherman, where we cut Sherman because we didn't want to pay him no more, or we didn't want to pay Earl Thomas, even though he was worth the money that we were gonna give him. Uh, two things. First of all, both those players bit us back in the butt, right? Richard Sherman didn't have the best season with us that following uh, that year. Earl Thomas played good he played actually really good before he uh broke his leg i think that was it he broke his leg in that uh i don't remember which game it was but arizona game i think uh and now look at them earl thomas obviously was not the best but he was playing really good this year and richard chairman was the best cornerback according to pff i don't want it to become another jadevian clown i don't want it to be another situation like that when it comes to jadevian clowning i don't want us to be like well he didn't produce for us this year he has injury problems so we're not gonna pay him all of a sudden he goes to cleveland wrecks a habit and is one of the best defensive ends in the league i do not want that to happen i want us to pay jadevian clowning trust me we have the cap now we have about 22 million dollars i think it might be 21 it depends on how that justin Britt uh injury that uh, because he did fail, fail his physical so if he does not sign with another team uh by the end of 2020 i think it's 1.2 million dollars we own but still we have a lot of cap uh so i think that's another we're in a position where we can't sign jadevian clowny i think we should pay jadevian clowny if we're sitting here offering him 16 million dollars and he's like i'm not going i'm not signing unless you give me 17 i don't want Pete and john to sit there and be like ah should we pay no sign him now this is the best we're gonna get Excuse me, even though it's if it's only for one year, that one year will make a difference, guys. I want him back in Seattle so bad, and I think if we let this slip from our hands, it's gonna bite us right back in the butt. I could feel it already, guys. So that's kind of my rant on Jadevian County. I know it was really messy, guys, and I just addressed so many things. And I didn't really go in order. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to rant a little bit. That's how I feel about Jadevian County. Do I think he's coming back? I feel like he will. I think in the next couple of days, he's gonna sign a contract. Um, even though a lot of sources are saying just because that we let uh, Justin Britt and DJ Fluger go, that wasn't a precursor that we uh, that we were saying we were going to sign Jadavian County. There's been multiple sources that have said that Corbin Smith has already addressed that on the Seahawks Maven. Um, uh, you know, he's part of Seahawks Maven. He already addressed that already. Multiple sources have told him just because we released, we didn't release Justin Britt and DJ Fluger just to make a deal in the next few days. That's not what's going on, guys. Um, another thing was... Uh, I mean, uh, people are saying that Clowney's willing not to sign for months, so I'm prepared for him not to sign, you know, for months. But the biggest thing is, if Jadevian Clowney does not sign in the next few days, I think Seattle's done because they're they're pushing in their final offer, and I think that's how it's going to work, guys. I want you to give you, um, I want you guys to give me your opinion in the comments below, guys. Like I said, I mean, there's a lot more factors to go into it. I don't think Clowney was even signed just because of the of the deadline what is it called the the unrestricted free agent deadline that you know affects comp compensatory picks and all that there's so much things that goes into it i think some teams didn't want to sign Jadevian clowney before that deadline just because they didn't want to affect their picks so i think that was one thing where if clowney maybe he was just waiting to sign with the browns until after that deadline passed which was 1 p.m eastern time or yeah 1 p.m no pacific time uh yesterday was it or yeah monday so 
So maybe that's another thing that was holding Clowney back from signing with a different team. I don't know, guys. That was just kind of my rant on what's going on, uh, how I really feel about the Jadavion Clowney situation. I, I really hope you guys understand that it's not that easy to just sign a player you just give them money there's a lot of factors so don't get john and pete if they make this if they if they don't sign them but like i said i do think it will be a mistake if we do not sign these players like jadevian cloud if we don't sign jadevian county back like i said happened with us with earl thomas we thought he was getting older he had injury problems we didn't think it was worth the the price tag same with richard sherman I'm afraid it's going to happen again with Jadavion Clowney. Not the age issue, but the injury issue and the worth and the price tag that comes with Jadavion Clowney. I feel like we might be a little bit too stingy as usual and we won't be able to pay up and it might bite us back in the future. So, guys, I want you to go ahead and give me your opinions on what you think. And I definitely think uh, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun filming these videos, guys. So, if you do uh, support me, if you do like these videos, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please like the like this video. It helps me a lot. It you know tells me that you guys do enjoy these videos. Share it with your friends. You know, get them in these conversations because I love talking to you guys. Get, and uh, I'd love to go live with you one day so I could go ahead and go back and forth with some of you guys. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun. So, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Stay safe. Go Hawks. And I'll see you guys soon.